This is Twit. Uh, this is admittedly an expensive app. It is uh, $12.99, but it is an incredible app for what it does. Uh, for $12.99, you get a an app. And uh, Kevin, if you can show the iPad screenshots, um, those ones kind of give a really good, I don't know why they're not. I'm trying to even see them at full zoom and it's not letting me. But anyway, um, this is a, there we go, Home Dash's website is, is a better place to see it. It lets you create custom dashboards for Ooh, your yes. HomeKit setup. It shows you, um, I mean, you can set it up however you want to. You can show like what doors are unlocked and which ones aren't, the average temperature in a given space. You can do individual scenes and make adjustments to uh, a bunch of lights in a room or the color temperature in a room. You can see what the uh, battery level is for some of the uh, smart home devices that you have. This is a very complex, uh, incredible app uh, for for giving you full home control, and if you have like an old iPad uh, that's yeah, you know that's or an old thinking. iPod Touch or something like that that you're not using for anything else, uh, to be able to set it up in the space and let it serve because actually home dash has an option to keep the screen on um oh, nice. and so you can yeah you can use it to create a whole panel for controlling your home kit home uh so color temperature uh current consumption of lights in a given space hue uh it does it according to rooms and groups there's uh, even home dash for apple watch although um that is more of a control panel you know, independently rather than uh, rather than being the spot for doing, you know, all of the controls. But this app has so many different options for controlling and viewing the information about your smart home. Uh, and I think that's what makes it particularly cool is that even in, if it's less about the control, it's like the graphs and things like that that you can see to sort of get a summary of your home at any given point. Um, so, yeah. It is Home Dash, and it is available in the App Store for twelve ninety nine. Which, yes, uh, on the whole, that sounds like a more pricey app than maybe you're used to. But for, like I said, for what it does, for all of the different features that are available, it's a pretty incredible dashboard application for controlling your smart home. So definitely give that a look if you are looking for this sort of system. Um, to be able to have it available uh, nice. in you know in your home. Yeah, I want that. That looks good. And also, I'm just imagining now having an open app automation for this, so that when you open this app, I don't know which scene it would run or something, but just that like you could have your like mounting mode or something like that. Oh um, yeah, that cool. I like that. I want. I wish I just had tablets everywhere. <laughs> I wish they were cheap. Is mostly what it is. But. Yeah, it, 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 I mean that's that's like my it. desk most of the time is at least four to five screens or something like that. But. <laughs> nice, that's cool. Uh, 